Hello, welcome. Welcome to Engineering. So, normally at Wilberforce College we'd be inviting you in at this time and you'd be able to explore the workshops and all of the facilities that we have to offer. Obviously, under these circumstances, we're not able to let you on site. So, I thought that I'd just take you through a little bit of engineering and talk to you about why you might want to study engineering at Wilberforce College. So, perhaps the first thing you might want to find out is who might be teaching you. So, here's the first slide and uh, you'll see that we've got uh, a varied staff. We seem to have lots of people with not much hair and beards, um, but we do have a little bit of beauty in there as well. So, these are your engineering teachers uh, who will be taking you through uh, your course. If we look to the next slide, let's think about some uh, reasons why you might want to study engineering. Well, the East Riding of Yorkshire has a proud tradition of uh, engineering. In fact, if we go back 4,000 years, uh, we find that Bronze Age man was building boats to try and cross the River Humber. And we've been engineering solutions ever since. 2000 BC, the first Bronze Age boats crossed the river. 2000 AD, we built a bridge to cross that river. And all of that work was done by engineers. In fact, engineers solve problems. And here on slide three, we see some of the problems that engineers are currently working on. We think about pollution, um, or how do we generate uh, energy, how do we keep people safe? Um, how do we communicate to people? All of these are aspects of engineering. And sometimes we come up with solutions like the mini car here that we see on slide four. Or we see James Dyson creating new ways to uh, hoover up the dust and the dirt. So there's all sorts of different engineering uh, opportunities. And in fact, on this slide, uh, we see that the list of jobs and careers in engineering is vast. So engineering is a really good course to be studying because it opens up lots of different opportunities. So why might you want to study engineering at Wilberforce College? Well, we have a broad range of courses uh, that offer you all sorts of opportunities. So let's have a look at some of those courses. Uh, at Wilberforce College there are really two routes that you might want to pick and there's three different courses. The first route that we're going to look at is the City and Guilds programme and then we'll have a look at the BTEC route. So on this slide we're going to look at the City and Guilds programme. Now, if you enjoy the practical side of engineering, if you like hands-on experience, if you like to make things, then maybe the City and Guilds route is best for you. It's an internationally recognised qualification that's going to allow you to enter the engineering workplace. It's uh, specifically designed to help you gain an apprenticeship in the engineering field. And you'll be doing all sorts of work, both practical by uh, filing and drilling and making things out of metal, but you'll also be uh, com working on the computer, completing uh, computer-aided design, and you'll be learning how to wire and to create electrical circuits. So it's a very hands-on course, is the City and Guilds programme. Um, lots of it is practically assessed, uh, and you will have some exams towards the end of the year. So that's the City and Guilds programme, and that might be something that you want to look a little bit closer at. The next course that I want to talk about is the Extended Certificate. It's a BTEC course, and if you're thinking that you want a range of A-levels, but you want a bit of engineering in there, then the extended certificate is maybe the course for you. So it's worth one A-level and uh, 
it's something that you will study. It's largely uh, on in the classroom. There's a lot of theory in there, but a little bit of practical work as well. So that's an extended certificate and it's worth one A-level, so you'd study two other A-levels alongside of it. The final course that I want to talk about is the extended diploma. So that's a full-time course. It's uh, spread over two years uh, and it's the equivalent of three A-levels. You'll study a variety of engineering subjects. Uh, you'll be looking at materials and uh, how we use them, the different properties. Uh, we'll be looking at manufacturing processes. We'll be looking at how engineers work in business. There'll be lots of maths within that unit. Uh, there will be drawing uh, both traditionally and on CAD. There'll be a little bit of practical work and it's all heading towards a design task uh, and some exams uh, that you'll be taking later on in the course. I think the final thing just to say about engineering at Wilberforce is it's not, of course, just about the courses. It's also about the people that you're going to be working with and it's going to be about some of the opportunities. You might want to be involved in the Green Power project or maybe you want to build a robot and be uh, part of our VEX robotics competition. Or maybe you're just interested in an enrichment where you look at 3D printing to hone your CAD skills. But whatever it is, hopefully we've got the facilities and the resources uh, to allow you these opportunities at Wilberforce College. So we look forward to seeing you in September. Hello there. So uh, we said that we'd take you on a walkthrough through the engineering department, or at least two of the workshops. So we're in N1. This is my classroom. Uh, as we can see on the table here, we've got some bridges that our uh, BTEC students have designed. Uh, they're trying to cross a canal and they have made some models to test the solutions that they came up with. So that's part of the design part of engineering. Behind me, you can see we've got our computers. Uh, engineering, more and more today, is about using computers, being confident in using design software. And we're really proud that we've got some cutting edge design software that we'll be using and teaching you about. So follow me, uh, we'll just walk through. We've got uh, lots of tools uh, within here. We've got our good old trusty bandsaw um, and other ways and tools that we might use uh, to make things uh, within our engineering course. But come on through to this workshop. So this is the domain of Rob. You might have seen him earlier on on the uh, PowerPoint. Uh, he's got no hair and a beard. Well, actually, of course, he's got a long ponytail and speaks in an American accent, but we forgive him for that. But this is our City and Gills workshop. Uh, so that hands-on element that I was talking about, uh, a lot of it is done here. Uh, working with the tools and learning how to produce things uh, professionally and to the right standard. Of course, the electronics unit is in an electronics workshop, and that's a little bit further away, so I can't show you it today. But come on uh, through me. Here is the heat room. So obviously engineers need to understand how we work with metals and how we work with all sorts of materials. And one of the ways that we're going to understand is by experimenting and trying things out. So in this heat room, we're going to be casting metal um, and, and uh, we've also got a hearth over here uh, just to sort of uh, to look at how we can harden metal and make things uh, work a bit better. So we're back into N1. So a very brief tour, but hopefully it gives you an idea of the sorts of facilities that we've got. We've got some nice large workshops that are well resourced and uh, all we really need is students like you to fill them. So hopefully we'll see you in September.